Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and here behind me, I'm gonna have a 2023 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport. Let's dive right in. All right guys, so here we are right outside the 2023 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport. I'm gonna walk around this vehicle to show you guys all the cool standard features and functions to save you time before arriving at your local Honda dealership to take out for a test drive. Any questions, you know what to do, drop them down below in the comments. I'd be glad to assist you guys from that point. Then also, if you found these videos helpful, please show your support by hitting like and subscribe because I put a lot of time into these videos to inform you guys. Now also check out my other videos, I have tips and tricks, and then I also have a Honda tutorial help, and then also vehicle settings too as well to set you guys up for success all right so let's dive right in and show all the cool stuff now all right so as usual guys let's walk right up here to the window sticker you guys are welcome to pause the video right about there if you want to explore on your own all right now up on the top right hand corner talks about your fuel economy 29 for the city 37 for the highway with a combined of 32 down on the right hand corner talks about your safety ratings check that out five out of five who doesn't love that right here's where the vehicle's made at the price point and then the list of the standard features and functions, which we're gonna to try to cover today for you guys. Now, as you can see, this one's gonna be a platinum white pearl, which is gonna be a $455 surplus charge. I'm also gonna throw some additional color options up there so you guys will be in the know. Then also, there's gonna be a surplus charge for that particular color. I'd love to hear down below in the comments what's your favorite color of all these options, guys. I can't wait to see them. Now, as we step over here towards the front of the vehicle, we have two key fobs and a remote start. To use your remote start, it's easy. Just hit lock, hold this button down here for a few seconds. You can see lights gonna flash here in a second. Boom. I received it, starts right up, lights are gonna flash again. Now I know it has started, the doors will remain locked, runs in 10 minute intervals. What I mean by that, let's say eight minutes have passed, I repeat the process again, boom. Now it's running for the grand total of 18 minutes, a third time it won't do it, okay? Now as we're up here, you're gonna, you're gonna have a 2.0 non-turbo four cylinder with a CVT. I'm gonna throw horsepower and torque up there so you guys know what you're playing around with, okay? We're gonna have all your Honda Sensei features, standard, I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, your forward collision, and road departure, all standard right here. Safety is middle name, all right? You have LED lights all the way around, so that's gonna be nice. Check out the front grill here quick. Then we'll wrap around right over here to those 18 inch black finished alloy rims. We're gonna take a step back I'm gonna give you guys a side profile view. I'm also gonna throw some exterior measurements up there so you guys know how it compares to other vehicles out there in the market. All right. That's the Smoky Mob right there, sport touring hatchback. A lot of cool accessories on that bad boy. But let's let shift focus right back here to off to this. All right, so after done looking at your exterior measurements, you can see you got body colored side handles. You're gonna have a blackout side mirror. No chrome action around the window, so that's gonna be kind of nice for those that don't like the chrome action, okay? Now as we get up here on the side mirrors, you can see they're not up here on the A-pillar, they're down on the door, they could be a breakaway too. You can simply fold them in and out, so that's gonna be pretty nice and easy, okay? Now we also have the smart entry system, so let's say the car's all locked, you got the key fob in your purse, your pocket, your jacket, whatever, you walk up, put your hand in the handle, unlocks the door. You can choose you want just this door to unlock or all the doors too. And then also when you have the key fob in your pocket, you got these little ridges right down here. You can simply put your thumb, uh, thumb right down and it locks it all right up for you, okay? Now we also have the walkway auto lock feature. So let's say if I didn't do that, I have it enabled, I have the key fob with me, I get out of the car, I walk away, get 10 feet away, boom, it locks all the doors automatically for you so you never have to second guess, did I lock my doors or did I not, all right? Now let's say, for example, if you accidentally leave your key fob in the car, right? And there we go, you hit the lock button, you shut the door, you cannot accidentally lock your keys in the car or the walkway auto lock would not lock your keys in the car for you, okay? Then we'll step right over here where you got your gas tank. Once the car's unlocked, you simply push that door right in. It's a capless gas tank, no longer a $2 cap to argue, debate with. It's a simple slide and go. When you shut this, the car's locked. Guess what? That door is locked as well, okay? Now from this point, we're going to walk here towards the back of the vehicle. You can see the hatch. There we are. You can see you got the badge of honor over here. You got the sport, civic. So we got a multi angle rear camera. So now, on the let's say the car's all locked, you also have a button right here for the hatch just to unlock that hatch as you select that and unlocks it right there while the rest of the rest will remain locked. Okay, so that's pretty nice and cool. 
Now, as we check it out in the cargo space, I'm also going to throw some measurements up there so you guys know if you can have enough room for wherever life's going to throw at you. So it'll be challenge accepted for you guys from that point. Now, you know what? Let's do the cursing and put these seats down so you can see with all the seats down. All right, so here we are. We got the seats down now for you guys. You can see how it's going to look there with those seats down, okay? Now, down below, you're going to have a spare tire and those additional tools you may need for those unforeseen events. Let's put that right open. And then you also have the emergency gas funnel too as well right there, okay? We'll put that right back down. You got some courtesy tie downs right in here. One there. So, you know, things won't be jumping around in the back if you don't want it to, okay? Now, we're going to have a little courtesy light here off to the side. We're going to have a privacy cargo cover right here comes up latches right in pretty nice and easy then you also got the second half right up here so as you close this look at that no one can see your business keep your groceries out of the sun stuff like that okay so pretty cool pop that right back open we'll move that back now this you can take this out if you really wanted to just in case you guys are hauling some stuff around okay now as we're closing this again you got your multi-angle camera right there you're gonna have this little button here too as well okay this little button can help you save some time so for example let's say you're all done getting in and out of the car and this is the last thing you're gonna to touch and you want to lock all the doors and you got the key fob in your pocket and you don't have to walk out of lock enabled you just hit that button and it locks all the doors for you when you close that so close it hit the button boom everything is locked right up okay so there we go All right, so now we're done looking at the cargo stuff. Let's talk about what's in the back seat here quick, okay? Open everything right up. As we check out, before we dive right in, I also want to throw some interior measurements up there so you guys make sure there's enough room for your friends, pets, cargo, whoever's brave enough to tag along with you guys. Is there enough room? How does it compare to you guys' current vehicle? Now, we're going to check out the door as usual right here. Got a cloth armrest. You guys know about power windows, some additional cubby speeds right down below. We're going to shift focus right into here now where your passengers will be sitting at. So you got a little bit of leather, you got a little bit of cloth action going on here together. All right. We already established it's going to be a 60-40 uh, split seats here that fold right down. Your third seat belt to right here. To bring these down, it's going to be this right here. Okay. Now, your latches for the car seats, stuff like that, gonna be hidden. You gotta dig down under if you're gonna have those car seats. Does not come standard with all season match, but I have them in here from Honda so you see how nice fit they're gonna be for you, okay? All right, so that's everything right back here and the back seat. Let's dive right up front. As we open this up, once again, we're gonna check out the driver's side door. We have a cloth armrest. You got your power windows. You guys know about that. Power lock button here for the windows, just in case anyone misbehaves. Power locks, mirror selectors, and then the D-pad to adjust your mirrors accordingly. Some additional cubby space down below. We're gonna shift focus right here on the driver's seat now. It's gonna be a manual seat, so it's gonna be a pump action. Pump up to raise, pump down to lower. You got your recline right over here. Then we have a squeeze bar right there to slide forward and back, okay? Pedals to get you to A to B. Hood release. Let's show you what's underneath the hood now. All right, so here we are, right underneath the hood. You guys already know it's a 2.0 four-cylinder non-turbo with a CVT. I'm going to give you guys a couple common courtesy stuff where the location of those are at, then also for those who want to see what's underneath the hood. For those more advanced questions, contact your local Honda service center. For those more advanced questions, I'm sure they'd be glad to assist you guys from that point. Now, blue cap right here for a washer fluid, pretty nice and easy to find. We'll step right over here. You got your coolant. Oil cap, dipsticks, bright orange. You can find that anytime between day and night. We'll come right back over here. You're going to have your battery connection. Pretty nice, easy expose. Then you get your brake fluid, okay? So there you go. That's under hood. Let's go check what's up front. All right, so here we are right inside the Honda Civic now. I got the key fob with me. It just has to be in the car. It can be in your purse, your jacket, your pocket, right here in the cup holder, all right? First step you want to do is put your foot down on the brake. You got this button right here so as you step onto the brake you'll see a light right up hit the start button and watch everything light up from there the vehicle is fully on now now if you don't put your foot on the brake right you just hit the button it goes to accessory mode okay you have a couple of accessory modes before you tr fully turn it off so put your foot on the brake hit the start button let's talk about the controls over here on the uh, left hand side you got your vehicle stability assist right there you got some of your safety features you can enable and disable as you select that that's right up here on the driver's interface all right, to navigate between these, like I'm doing right now, you got the little wheel action right here, okay? 
up and down, then you push N to select. So if I don't want to change anything, I just want to hit the back button, boom, I push that wheel right in, okay? You can adjust the brightness of your driver's interface with this, that little wheel action again, plenty of wheels going up and down to adjust accordingly as you see fit. Your steering wheel adjustment is right over here. Pull that down to release it. It's gonna be a telescope, so it goes in, out, up, and down. And then go ahead and adjust as you see there, and then lock it right back up, okay? Now we're gonna focus right here on the steering wheel here controls here at the moment. You got all of your safety features on the right hand side. So let's just zoom right in here quick for you guys. This button right here is, is gonna be for your cruise control or your adaptive cruise. So as you select that, I can see right now, right here with the little car and the little speeder meter right there, the house little arrow locking right in. That's my adaptive cruise. I can use that now, it's available. All right, to enable your cruise, you got a little set and you can adjust speeds here. You got a little toggle switch, toggle down, sets it. Then I can adjust the speeds by toggling up or down, okay? Now, to select the distance between you and the car in front of you with your adaptive cruise, it's gonna be this button right here. So as I'm selecting that on the driver's interface, you can see those lines adjusting, right? You got four different options. More lines means further, less lines means it's gonna be a closer range. So let's say we're going 35 miles an hour, finds a car in front of us going 33, it finds a car in range, it will beep, you can adjust that if, or if it beep or it won't beep, then it will slow down to maintain that distance, and when they get out of the way, it will beep at you again if you have the beep on, okay? And you resume back to whatever your cruise control speed was set at, okay? So now, let's say for example, you're one of those drivers that don't like the adaptive cruise control, or you accidentally hold this button down a little too long as you're selecting the distance. Now you're gonna be at standard cruise control. You can tell that's a standard cruise because it says cruise mode right here. I'll go through it again one more time for you guys. Now it's adaptive cruise control. As I hit it again, it's cruise mode, standard cruise. And you also have a little speeder meter with a little arrow right there without a car. So now you know it's standard cruise. Hold that button down again. So next time we take up for a test drive, boom, adaptive cruise control is available. Now this is gonna be for your lane keep assist and traffic jam assist. This is what's gonna keep you on the road. You can tell it's available, it's actually gonna be working right here because you got the little emblem there. So if I select that again, it's gone. It's not gonna do its job. So traffic jam assist is gonna work at your lower speeds to keep you on the road or in the middle of your lane right there. All right, so 45 miles, 45 or less. And then your lane keep assist is gonna be 45 and up, okay? Up to 90 miles per an hour. So when you're driving, you go out of your lane a little bit, it'll beep at you, turn that beep on and off, and it brings you back and recenters you uh, from that point. So now that's all of your Honda Sensi feature controls right over here. You're gonna have pedal, paddle shifters, <laughs> excuse me, paddle shifters right over here. Then we got some more of your media controls and stuff right here. All right, so volume, you got your music sources, sources, stuff like that between FM, AM, radio options, if you wanted to, and you can skip through your stations as you're just hitting these little buttons. All right, and those are gonna be your presets as you're messing around, all right? We'll turn that off. Now you got a little home menu. It's gonna take you right up here. We're gonna to get to the driver's interface here in a second. We're gonna zoom in, because I know there's a lot of glare. At least I'm seeing a lot of glare. You got your voice commands, you know, call crazy Honda Chris on mobile phone if your phone's paired. Let's talk about the sticks here quick. You got your adjustable intermittent wipers. You got your front, and then you got a little twist here for your rear, rear wipers. And you got your lights, it's gonna be auto lights. You can turn those off right here if the vehicle's in park. As soon as you put it in a drive, your lights automatically come right on for your daytime running lights, okay? Turn in indicators. Now let's kind of shift focus right here on the driver's interface. You got your speeder meter, a digital one as well. Gas tank right here, it is full. You're looking at those little bars down below, okay? That's what's gonna indicate on your fuel gauge. Temperature today is beautiful out, 47 degrees, four miles. Drive mode, we're in normal. We're gonna talk about that here in a second for you guys. And then you can see right over here, some more stuff that we're gonna go through, okay? Now, as we're talking about the stuff on the left-hand side, I'm gonna be using this little wheel action. I'm gonna be pushing it in to get in. I'm heading home to back out, all right? So seat belts, let's talk about seat belts. You can see who's sitting where and what seat belts and plugged in. So if I grab the front passenger seat, I plug that in right now, boom, it's right there. So you can see it. If I undo it right away, boom, it's instant. So that's pretty cool. Back out, 
Maintenance, if you have any maintenance required for the vehicle, it's gonna be right there for you. Safety support. Once again, we already seen this. It's just another way to get in here. Settings. I'm gonna have a vehicle settings video out there for you guys, show you how to customize all of your safety features. If you want all the beeps, when the doors unlock, stuff like that. So check out that video. You can customize your display here, as in what do you want to actually be available, or maybe you don't want all this stuff, you never use some of this stuff, you can actually unselect it and just clean it up a little bit. Then if you want nothing right here, perfect, there we go. If you need to change your speed distance right there too as well, you just click and hold. Warnings, if you have any warnings, like doors open, fuel and range. So right now in a full tank of gas, the computer is telling us with only four miles worth of driving, we can get 400 miles. And you know, let's get right back in there. You also have this graph that shows the zero to 90 that's gonna fluctuate as you're driving. It's gonna show you a lifetime fuel economy that you're getting at that moment. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Speed and time. Driver's attention monitoring system. So the car is gonna know the difference between the wind blowing you around and you're doing a really bad job of driving, like you need to pull over and drink some coffee or just take a power nap. You probably want the car to do everything in its power to do that, to tell you, and you have a setting to turn that on or off. But that also shows you how good of a driver you are right now. It's like a video game, just keep you kind of entertained, I guess. So there we go, that's everything from that point. You guys see you have a tachometer right wrap around. You can turn that off if you want to. Check out my vehicle settings video again. It goes more in depth about that. Now there's no temperature gauge on here, but there's gonna be light. So if it's overheating or if it's too cold, you're gonna get a light up here, all right? Honk the horn. There it is. Now we're gonna shift focus over here on the touch screen for you guys. So here's the touch screen. It's gonna be pretty nice and easy for music. You hit the power button, you got your volume button right here. You just can crank that bad boy right there, all right? So let's say you find a radio station. If the, if the screen's flickering, guys, it's just because my phone cannot keep up with the refresh rate today. I have a low battery right now as I'm doing this video. So let's see if we can get it done in time. So you're gonna have your presets. You can save them by click and hold, hold, there we go, it beeped, and there we go. So that's how you're gonna save that from there, okay? So pretty nice and easy. Now, if you wanna tune and find radio stations, you got this little knob right over here. You just simply go left and right, finds the radio station from that point. Now, as we talk about radio, let's talk about the radio options right here. So you hit radio, you got AM, FM radios, media, as you select media, you have USBs right here, and then Bluetooth. You also got an Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, all right? So if it's an Apple phone, it's a simple plug your phone charger in and plug and play. If you have an Android phone, hey, not a problem. Just download Android Auto, allow all the permissions on your phone. Then it's a plug and play. It'll take like your Google Maps, Apple Maps, other compatible apps and display it right up here on your touchscreen. It will play through the vehicle, um, you know, for your navigation stuff or music, uh, phone calls, all kinds of cool stuff while charging your device, okay? And then you can obviously pair up multiple phones. Let's go ahead and select the menu here. Got some options right in here. Not too much stuff. When you guys get, go out there for a test drive, just play around a little bit with this stuff, okay? There's your time right up there. Now we're gonna back right out here. We're gonna take a moment, look at the dashboard. You got the nice little honeycomb kind of going on. Let's talk about where your adjustable vents are. So my passenger, they're gonna have those right here. They got this nice little soft touch right there kind of going on, so now it's fully open. We'll come right here. We got two in the middle. We can argue and debate who gets what, how we're gonna adjust those. But what's pretty cool about this is you get it centered, it clicks. I like the satisfaction of hearing the little clicks. Everything has a little click, so that's nice. You have a floating button right here for your hazard warning lights if you ever need these. There they are, just floating right there. Then of course, this one's mine. We're not gonna argue about that one. I adjust that as I see fit. We'll come right over here now to your climate control or center controls. So you got your temperature. Right there, you can see it displaying. So everything I'm gonna be messing right here with is gonna be displaying up here. So if I'm driving down the road, I don't have to look all the way down, okay? I can kind of casually look over here as I'm driving home on the interstate. So temperature, fan speed. Once again, fan speed, let's back up a little bit. Boom, boom. Different modes, modes are changing right down there. And also right up here. 
and everything once again has that nice little click sound. Air circulation, front defroster, rear defroster, AC, boom. That's all of your climate control stuff right there for you good folks. As you come right down here, you get this big tray here, all right? You have a 12 volt plug in, a USB, as we already talked about. We'll come down here to your cup holders. Nice little texture going on right here. Let's talk about the shifts here quick. So you're gonna have a park, reverse, neutral, drive, all right? As you put it into reverse, you can see there's a little light between all these. Put it in reverse, you got your multi-angle rear camera automatically displays, okay? Down here on the bottom left-hand corner, you're gonna see there's gonna be little photos. They're gonna be little buttons that you can select on the touch screen. So this one's a nice wide view. It'd be great for when you're pulling out of the parking lot because it catches a little more of your blind spot. Then you have more of a right behind you view. But then a straight down shot from your rear bumper view. So that's great when you're doing parallel parking and backing up next to something, stuff like that. Now as you turn your wheels, guess what? As you guys can see, it turns colors and also guides you to as well to make life just a little bit easier for you guys on your everyday life. Now we're going to put this right back in park. Right here's your drive modes. I know I mentioned that earlier. So this is the toggle switch as you toggle up and down as you're doing that right up here in the driver's interface. You're gonna see what that's gonna change at. So you have a sport, it's gonna change up, make a little more fun driving, it shortens your gear ratio. You get a little red, you know, action going on over here. It says sport right down there, okay? So let's say if I shot the vehicle, I'll turn the vehicle back on, it's always gonna be in sport until I change that myself. So I'm gonna to toggle down, you have an econ mode down below. Econ mode is gonna make you more fuel efficient for your highway driving. You may see anywhere from two to four more miles to a gallon, depending on how aggressive you're driving. Now those really hot summer days, you gotta choose, you wanna be fuel efficient, or do you wanna be comfortable, because it does affect the power of your AC and your acceleration, okay? And then you get a little reminder when it's on with a green leaf and it says econ right there. Now then you just got your normal driving from there. Oh, I forgot to mention, you got a little clock right down below. Look at that. All right, we'll come right down here. Idle stop is standard, okay? This is the lovely button if you don't want idle stop to engage. For those that don't know what idle stop is, let's say you're driving through the drive through at a stop sign, stop light, you know, any moment you are stopped for a period of time and the car is up to temp, as in the cabin, the engine, it has certain requirements, it actually will shut off the engine partially, okay? So, foot's on the brake, and as soon as I let go off the brake, and to apply onto the gas, it starts right up before that point. So it's like, boom, let off, starts right up, and there we go. Whole point of that is just trying to be more fuel uh, emission awareness, okay, um, from there. So if you don't like that for any particular reason, I've noticed when it's in sport mode, it doesn't come on, then also you have to hit this button. As you hit this button, right up here on the driver's interface, you can see it is disabled. You got a little A down there, it says off, all right? You have electrical parking brake, a hold brake from there. We'll open up the armrest. You got a little tray action here. Oh, we can even adjust that little tray action if you want to to accommodate whatever works best for you. And then we got a keep area for all the good snacks. If I make a mess down here, not a problem. You got this little tab here. You can grab that and you can pull that out. It's not easy right now trying to do this from this angle, but it comes out if you need to, okay? So you can clean up. Now let's put that right back in there snaps right in seats we got a nice little pattern going on with the on the seats we're going to talk about the dashboard review your mirror you're going to have your lights Now, a couple of cool things before I forget, sometimes I do forget about these, you do have a rear seat reminder, so that's gonna be pretty cool. So let's say, for example, I get out of the vehicle, because I don't think I've done this yet with the car on, and we open up a door. Hey, jump right in, kiddo, you all right? You gotta take a little six-year-old camera out, you know, for a guy's night out. And then when I shut the vehicle, you have rear seat reminder, pops right up, 
All right, so that's pretty much the pattern. Just every time that back door opens up, when the vehicle's on, right before it turns on, it's gonna remind you when you shot the vehicle to double check. Make sure you didn't forget your precious cargo back there, if it's Cameron or maybe in my box of cookies or whatever's going on, okay? Now, another cool thing is as you're driving down the road, you're also gonna have the traffic sign recognition system. It's gonna throw it right up there, so as I find a speed limit, it's gonna throw it up there too as well. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna have that consistent reminder. Then also, you have this really cool thing that's gonna warn you when you hit that threshold if your speed limit you can adjust that so for example let's say it finds the speed limit says 35 miles an hour it will tell me hey you're speeding at 30 miles an hour you know if it says 30 the speed limit or you know three five or ten above you just had to check out my vehicle settings video i cover more of that and explain that stuff to you guys in great detail all right all right well thanks again for watching guys i appreciate your endless support see you at the next video